Hello everybody, this is Quercus coccinea of the family Fagaceae. Coccinea meaning scarlet, Fagaceae being the beech family. This is scarlet oak. The leaves are alternate along the twig and they're simple with the typical oak lobing pattern. They have very deep C-shaped sinuses. You'll notice the sinuses go pretty far towards the midrib and they have bristle tips so you know it's part of the red oak group. The leaves themselves are uh, glabrous and they're kind of shiny on both top and bottom uh, and in the fall they will get a beautiful deep red color so we're coming up on that season right about now. Uh, and that glabrousness is a good way to tell it apart from other oaks we're going to learn. On shade leaves such as this, the lobing doesn't go quite as deep, but you'll still notice that C shape in the sinus. It's really on the sun leaves where the lobing gets really intense and you can really start to see it uh, form a kind of lacy appearance in the canopy. The bark, as you can see here, is this rough gray bark. Um, it doesn't necessarily crack or fissure, but to me it looks like it has a vertical rough pattern going on it. Uh, the lines of the bark tend to go upward. If you go further up the tree, you may see something known as ski trails. And that is these uh, broad, flat, white striations going up and down the bark. Um, you'll notice that it's happening pretty much above head level. It tends to start about 15 to 30 feet up. Whereas at the base of the tree, it tends to stay rough and you don't really see those ski trails, which is an important characteristic differentiating, differentiating this between this and another oak we're going to learn. One thing to note is how much it retains dead branches. You can see them all here along the stem. Uh, this is what makes it less commercially valuable than other oaks due to the fact that it likes to hang on to these dead branches and these imperfections in the woods make it less merchantable. The fruit is a nut, which as you can see here can get pretty large, greater than one inch long. The caps tend to cover about one half to one third of the nut itself. And while I don't have a picture of the specimen here with me, um, sometimes you may find concentric rings at the end of the acorn nut. Um, and I'll have a photo of that to describe it, and that's a pretty good ID characteristic when you're looking to differ differentiate this from other acorns. So when you're looking to ID this tree, the key characteristics you want to look out for are the ski trails above head level or above 30 feet uh, on the bark, the retention of dead branches, that's a pretty good tell, the very deep C-shaped sinuses on the leaves, especially in those sun leaves, and the uh, uh, concentric circles on the nut um, at the very tip of the acorn. So this has been Quercus coccinea of the family Fagaceae, Scarlet Oak.